visuals and welcome to episode 40 fucking 7 of the visual guy fucking fuck you fucking podcast it's a bit rude hey it's always rude in my house we're sat on the couch here with chris i'm in my nice uh, sonic pjs relaxing max and ain't too taxing well i'm not i'm in proper clothing oh hey, this is proper clothing this is from uh when you've been pouring concrete burning your skin all day and you get to get something soft on yeah, I don't have to do it, but I just drive a van all day. <laughs> yeah, I've got so much concrete in my eye early. I've got mortar and concrete. I thought I was going to go blind. They're like, come on, man up, man up. I was like, I'm, I'm blind. I get the sun in my eyes all day. I'm sun blind. in your eyes, wear sunglasses. Uh, quickly, uh, next... I do. <laughs> um, this is going up on Sunday. On Tuesday, we've got a podcast coming up about films that are coming out and stuff like that. Films. There's one that might be 2019 and not 2018, which Chris has just checked. And that is Chris... I don't know, I forgot. The New Mutants. Oh, the New Mutants. The New Mutants. <laughs> we thought it was 2018, but... Um, I think it is 2018. I think they've just got it mixed up there. Yeah, Unless that's there. just in America. Yeah. So they are visuals. If you go back and watch the next podcast, and you're like, hey, that's 2019, we, we, we may and be well, on If you want any confirmation, just look it up yourselves, people. I like the idea of doing this like once a week podcasty type thing. We should maybe do a... Well, no, we can't really have a roundup of... What's coming out? Like a, a yearly thing or whatever, or a bi monthly, like a quarterly thing. Yeah. Of all the new films that are coming out, and then you can go into proper detail about who they're directed by and who they're yeah, well, starring. Yeah, can do, yeah. It could be someone that we can That was a good add, idea. Add to the should... list, or I can take it off your hands, whatever. Yeah. Uh, hey, dude, wait, whatever. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Whatever. I like that idea. It seems we're on the thing for. Uh, on the topic of, I feel like I'm, I'm having a mini stroke here. Um, <laughs> seeing as we're on the topic of films, let's jump down to their little brothers, mm. the the TV series, TV. and uh, everything's coming off a mid season break. Chris said, yes. "What have you got, like, well, pal?" Whilst I hold my massive box of Lego, season eleven of the X Files has started. It started. I said started. How many episodes in? One. Hey! No, two. Yes, binge watch. But I haven't watched second one yet. But yes, <sighs> it, it carries doing? on from season ten. Scully and Mulder decide to get it on. It carries on from season ten, which I enjoyed. I it's carried on from season nine, which got axed in two thousand and two. Where did you get axed? I thought it was because quite popular. Because they were, they they were getting too close. Oh, to, to the, the truth. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, We've had this conversation. The X Files always used to get panned. As if you never watched it, it was always associated with um, aliens. But they did loads, didn't they? They did conspiracies. They did murders. They did unsolved mysteries yes. and aliens and stuff. Yes. I always used to think it was just aliens. That's why I never watched it. I thought I'm one who freaked out by this shit. <laughs> I remember the theme tune being quite good. I okay, love the theme tune. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't watch it. But yet, yeah, that's the X Files. We've also got next week in England, so if you're watching from another country, you might have to double check on when the date is out for use. But the second part of season two of Riverdale will be starting up on the 18th. Of See this Archie and the gang. Archie, Archie, Veronica, Jughead, yeah. Betty. I oh, wish I was. And it looks like gang. Betty is going dark. But he's going dark. I fucking love Riverdale. It's a small little town, but it's like surrounded by suspicion and mystery. Live, well, well, you would want to live there, but you kind of wouldn't. <laughs> Tell you where you wouldn't want to live, 100%, mate. Carlisle. Is not. <laughs> is Midsummer Murders, living in Midsummer. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> because somebody dies every single episode. Whereas Riverdale, what, like a couple of people did die. But there's a show in Britain, which is, I guess it's quite popular. A lot of people do watch it. But it's called Midsummer Murders, which is filmed in Oxford, where I'm yeah. from. And somebody dies every episode. <laughs> There'll be no one left in that village. Yeah. I hope my mum watched it. I'm like, how has anybody left? I'm surprised it's not like the postman and the milkman. That's it. <laughs> or, or, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Don't move to Oxford. <laughs> yeah, don't, mate. That's why I had to leave. I thought Midsummer Murders were going to axe me off. Somewhere. And if you're from Oxford and you're still alive, you're doing well. <laughs> well done. It's like the Purge. Like the fucking Purge. Whatever yeah. shows you got, Christ. Whatever other shows are out there, I don't even, I can't even think. What, what can you think of any shows that's out there? Um, I, I don't know when they come back, but our own Flash is still on their mid season breaks. The Walking mm. Dead, when's that back? Walking Dead, I think. Find out what happened to. to... I don't think it's out till like June. Walking Dead love to take the piss with their breaks. Oh, they love. <laughs> Fucking Game of Thrones, do yeah, but at least that's a season break. Like the next is coming back for a full season. Like Midsummer 
Mid season was December. <laughs> Mid season breaks it piss me off. I'm gonna wait to 2019 to find out what happened to John Snow. Yeah, from Sheffield and, the, and the White Walkers. Oh, not the White Walkers! They're coming <laughs> over to all. Oh, Hey, John, show's your dick. <laughs> I'm going to sleep with... Oh, wait, I'm going to assume he has sex with at least... I don't know who who the fit birds were. I reckon he sleeps with uh, the girl that went mental with the the shame. No. He doesn't do it. I imagine John Snow plowing. He's at least going to have sex oh, with a dragon. He slept with the girl with the dragons. I'm sure they're probably related somewhere. They are. <laughs> they're related. <laughs> What right? No right. I don't like Game of Thrones at all. But explain no, well, this. Game of Thrones. It's it's all incest and whatever else. Yeah. You heard it first, kids. You need a show to grow up with. Watch the incest show. And it was. I think, I think it was the thing back then. Why do they? It's a thing now. <laughs> no, why why do they do know. that? Because it's like the same in Star Wars. I don't Wars. think they know the related though, but I think it kind of comes out that they are. Imagine, Spoiler, where, by the imagine, way. imagine, imagine, <laughs> where, imagine how that scene's gonna go down. Like once they find out, oh, John Snow, you with your cousin, the dragon lady? What, me cousin? What do you mean? I suppose he is from Sheffield. But yeah, speaking of incest in film, really? it's a weird subject. Yeah, George Lucas knew that Leia and Luke were gonna be brother and sister, but yet he still ripped them to kiss in the film, and I don't know why. What film are you? Star Wars, oh, right, the okay. first one. They, they, uh, whichever one it is, they kiss, but he knew that they were gonna be brother and sister. So why did he carry on writing that? I don't know. Ask him. It's just always bothered me. <laughs> I, I'm just like, I don't understand. Like, if if you ended up like a couple of films after and you're like, actually, I'm going to make them brother and sister. <laughs> and you'd already had the kiss. Whatever. I, I don't know. It, it's it's a weird one. It's always... I suppose. Well, did they, did they know they were, they were brother and sister? Oh, in the film they didn't. Well, there you go then. No, but I'm it on about... happens in reality. No, I'm on about though. George Jeremy Lucas... Kyle. George Lucas knew. Oh, yeah, yeah, he enough. read it and he read these characters. I'm gonna make them brother sister. Well, I'm gonna make them a kissy. Maybe he part of the film. Why? Why does incest know. need to be in Star Wars? Know. It's it's always baffled me. But it's like reality. Uh, uh, Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> Jeremy Kyle. What's he doing? Like? Well, not Jeremy Kyle per se, but you, you get people go on there. It turns out that they're having a baby, but they want to find out if they're <laughs> cheating or not. But all you, you get out is, like, is that, that the cousins. <laughs> All you get is like, oh, oh, Leslie, you were on Facebook and you chatted to Mafia when he said, oh, you go and give the father back and you never did. And now I've got the DNA test. Did you not see the one on Facebook where uh, a guy went on? Cow shit. No, it was, it was on, put on Facebook. A guy was on. And he asked the audience, who, who eats toffee crisps? Who eats toffee crisps? Yeah. And then it turns out that some guy who he's ex slept with used a toffee crisp wrapper as a condom. Yay! <laughs> Would that even work? I don't toffee know. Toffee crisp? How big is a toffee crisp? <laughs> about yay big, about 10 centimetres or something. Uh, no, it's I suppose you open yeah. it nicely yeah. and then yeah. slip the chocolate yeah. out of what, what kind of girls like? I haven't got any uh, condoms. You it's all right, to, uh, I've got a toffee crisp we, wrapper. We went to Asda, we bought a five pack <laughs> for a quid. So we got plenty of them. What the fuck, man? I know that I know they always go on about Facebook because I can hear my mum when she's watching downstairs. They always keep going, I messaged you on Facebook. You said you were going to meet me at Deanne's. It's like, what, what the fuck are you? Oh, it does my head in my. I, I can watch Jerry Springer because that's just corny as fuck. And I love it when they're like, fight. And the fights are just like, they, they push each other and everyone's like, oh, yeah. It just it seriously makes me giggle, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, Jeremy Carl on the Visual Guides, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, isn't I'm sure he got done for being a weirdo. I don't know for like gambling, not being a weirdo as in like a thing, but like I gambling. Think, I think he did have a gambling problem. At yeah. One point. So he overcome that battle, but yeah, TV series: Jon Snow and Dragon Lady may get it on. Uh, uh, the Arrow Flash should be coming back. Is Carl going to be a Walker? Jessica Jones might be. Se- up oh yeah, shortly. season two is like two months away. Yeah. Or maybe even sooner than that. I don't know the date, but that'll be out soon. It's very soon. And I'm that, glad that, she's got a second season. And that means that Luke Cage will be out soon. I, th- I don't want them to do a Luke Cage season two. I want them to do a, um, a Power Man and Iron Fist. Because they're always together anyway. So make Iron Fist second season and Luke Cage is their Power Man and Iron Fist. Oh yeah, fair enough. There's a poster down somewhere. I've got a Power <laughs> Man and Iron Fist. I just, and it would, for me, as a comic book fan, it would make sense. It would make sense. And I'll, I'll be like, if they're like, and they actually call it Power Man and Iron Fist, I'll be like, oh, go on Netflix. You know what then? But yeah, they're probably, they're probably like, yeah, Luke Cage is dead and Iron Fist has been cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hope not. 
But does it be nice to see another defender? Defenders. Another defenders has to yeah. happen. A lot of people slated Iron Fist. They said he was slightly boring and stuff. But I like Danny Rand because well, his name's just Danny. Getting his Power, we'll get into know his powers then. Yeah, he? big cheese. So the next season, is Will he knows his powers? He knows yeah. what he can do. He knows the he knows the crack. He I'm knows the situation. I'm muffling my voice there, and we have like a low budget microphone. That's very bad. We shouldn't be doing that. No. If <laughs> <laughs> you started speaking into my dressing gown. Look, I am your father. I've seen all the rage uh, about Star Wars. Everyone's kicking off about how shit it was. I haven't seen it. Like uh, I said, I. I I don't know which ones I have or haven't seen, so I was like, nah. Uh, the Phantom Menace, yeah, I think that's universally hated. I like it because this, the lightsaber door at the end is cool. I see, I think I'm more into Star Trek. I, I like the Star Trek. I like them both. I just, I like... Star Trek, though, the only thing for me, when I used to watch a series, it was too peaceful, it was too much, everything was solved with diplomacy, whereas Star Wars is... Nyom, chum, 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 chum. Yeah, you don't have to have start. No, no, I, I like that, off. but when I watch a show, it's all fabricated, it's all fake. I want to see action. I don't want to see a load of people debate and argue and say, oh, diplomacy. Or else I'd watch the, uh, <laughs> whatever you're watching, you know, Parliament, they're like, rabble, rabble, rabble. Oh, but uh, to be fair, though, the newer Star Trek's that have come out, anyway, are jam packed with yeah. action, so I haven't got a problem I with the new them. ones. I've enjoyed them. Yeah. Uh, um, um, Live um, long and um, prosper. Um, the um, needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Good old Leonard Len- Len- Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy. Spock, whoever don't know who that was. Spock! Spock a Rooney. Uh, what else is what else is I'm coming out soon, Daniel? TV wise. TV wise. wise. Uh, well, I'm the same as you. Uh, Rick and Morty is going to be 2019, apparently. What? I've read. Um, hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's just something wrong that I've read. Uh, the newest Pokemon film uh, looks amazing. There's a, a, maybe a girl ash in it, which looks uh, hell yes. I'll take a girl ash any day. Uh, there's the um, Devil Man, which I told you to watch. Uh, Netflix Devil Man, Devil Boy, Devil Guy, Devil Man, De- Devil Anime on Netflix. It's uh, creepy as fuck, uh, but it's good crack. Uh, TV show wise, Gotham to come back. Nice. Uh, it ended where Jim Gordon was Captain. Capitan. Well, Captain. Jim Gordon is Captain. Bruce Wayne's gone on a bit of a bit of a bender. Yeah, Alfred's no, been feel, sacked. I feel, I feel sorry for poor Alfred. Alfred has to deal with the shit. Like he, he does. cleans up the mess. Even when Bruce Wayne grows up and he's out there fighting Bane and shit. Bruce Wayne's there, oh, sorry, Alfred's there to clean up. He does, man, I felt, I felt, I felt sorry for Pooh. Because we have to forget as well that Alfred in the Dark Knight trilogy ends up getting friggin' sacked off. He's like, if you go out there, Mr. Wayne, I won't be here when you get back. Good impression. So thank you very much. My name is Michael Caine. <laughs> uh, friggin' Andy's just watched um, The Sweeney with Ray Winston in Plan B. I haven't seen any of The Sweeney. Ah, it's crap. You might like it, though, because the chasing at the end, uh, the driver's Jeremy Clarkson, but... Uh, all Andy. I've seen them do it. I've seen them do oh, it. I've seen them talk, yeah. Oh, at work, all Andy just keeps running going, we're the fucking Sweeney. He keeps saying that. <laughs> oh, he's fucking... He's off his... And he, keep, he keeps saying, and mate, I'm, uh, I'm going to break you down. No, what, he keeps saying, I'm going to make you... I'm going to break you like the walls of Jericho, and it's something like that. It's pure weird because he's mentioned wrestling shit. He doesn't, he doesn't like wrestling. It's like, what are you mentioning that for? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> do you like wrestling now? Can we talk about it? Talking about wrestling? Wrestling! Wrestling! Uh, yes, that's my favourite part. Yeah. What's John Cena's, what's John Cena's film called? Oh, um, the, the animated one. Yeah. Uh, Hernandez? Uh, uh, um, okay. Oh, fuck you. He's a cow. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a, the Spanish bull. That's Fernando. Fernando? Fernando? It's something like that. Yeah. That's out soon. I mean, that's out like in a couple uh, of months. It's already, it wasn't on the list, like. But it's already out. Is it? It's been out for a little while. Oh. Andy took his uh, daughter to go see it. Oh. <laughs> it's out, people. Go see it. <laughs> go see it. Uh, yeah, it's an animated film. I don't know how good it's going to be. It's DreamWorks, I think. So there's people like made like Shrek in that. Yeah. It should be quite fun. That was a nice little Chris and Dan Rambo whilst I held a box of Lego. And I'm just sitting here casually. Holding your pride. For being a, a man, <laughs> Chris is holding. Chris is holding the fact that he is a grown-up person, and I'm holding the fact that I don't want my childhood to end. I think that's the best way you can describe this. Yeah, Chris looks adult, and I'm I like loud over Lego, and I'm wearing a Sonic shirt which says "Gaming Legend." I 
I'm just wearing a white shirt. I don't want to <laughs> grow. But visuals, keep it in you. Keep on keeping on. Love you, bye.